Good morning, guys. I hope you guys had a wonderful week so far. Listen, you see me with my glasses on, so that means I'm going to be reading and then I'm going to take them off right away because um, if you don't know by now, I hate wearing glasses. Um, but I need them to read, so yeah. All right, guys, so let me get started real quick. I'm going to read Deuteronomy chapter 8. Don't panic. I read fairly quickly, so it will not take forever and it's going to be helpful. All right. By the way, thank you so much for stopping by and for watching me. All right. So Deuteron Deutero Deuteronomy chapter eight is really about, it talks about remembering the Lord, your God. Okay. So here we go. Every commandment, which I command you today, you must be careful to observe that you may live and multiply and go in and possess the land, which the Lord swear to your fathers and you shall remember the Lord your God you shall remember that the Lord your God led you all the way these 40 years in the wilderness to humble you and to test you to know what was in your heart whether you would keep his commandments or not so he humbled you allowed you to hunger and fed you with manna which you did not know nor did your fathers know that he might make you know that man shall not live by bread alone but man lives by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. Your garments did not wear out, nor did your foot swell these 40 years. You should know in your heart that as a man chastened, as a man chastens his son, so the Lord your God chastens you. Therefore, you shall keep the commandments of the Lord your God to walk in his ways and to fear him. For the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land, a land of brooks of water, of fountains and springs that flows out of valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley, of vines and figs and pomegranates, a land of olive oil and honey, a land in which you will eat bread without scarcity, in which you will lack nothing, a land whose stones are iron and out of whose hills you can dig copper. When you have eaten and are full, then you shall bless the Lord your God for the good land which he has given you. Beware that you do not forget the Lord your God by not keeping his commandments, his judgments, and his statutes, which I command you today. Lest when you have eaten and are full and have built a beautiful house and dwell in them, and when your herds and your flocks multiply, and your silver and your gold are multiplied, and all that you have is multiplied. When your heart is lifted up and you forget the Lord, your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage, who led you through that great and terrible wilderness in which there was fiery serpents and scorpions and thirsty land where there was no water, who brought, who brought water for you out of the flinty rock who fed you in the wilderness with the manna, which your fathers did not know, that he might humble you, that he may test you to do you good in the end. Then you say in your heart, my power, my power, and the might of my hand have gained me all this wealth. And you shall remember the Lord your God and you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swear to your fathers as it is this day. Then it shall be, if you by any means forget the Lord your God and follow other gods and serve them and worship them, I testify against you this day that you shall surely perish as the nations which the Lord destroys before you so you shall perish because you would not be obedient to the voice of the Lord your God. Now, guys, I know that was a four minute read, but it was very important. I encourage you to go back and read uh, Deuteronomy chapter eight. The word today, guys, to you all is this. Do not forget the Lord your God. Do not forget the Lord your God. Some of you, God is getting ready to take you to a place of prosperity, a place where you will, where scarcity will be non-existent. 
He's getting ready to make some changes in your life. Opportunities are coming. And so when these opportunities come, it is very important that you remember how when you were going through your wilderness and your time and your dry seasons, that it was the Lord that brought you through. The Lord takes us through these times, guys, so that he can test us and see what's within us and prepare us and humble us and take away all the things that needs to come out of us, right? Selfish ambitions, all these different things he will remove. And most, more than anything, he wants to see where your heart is with him so that he can entrust you with the wealth and the much and the plenty. When you get to this place, when opportunities begin to open up, when you begin to just walk into the land which the Lord has given you, what you need to do is to remember where it came from. Do not allow your flesh to pick up momentum. Do not allow your yourself to get puffed up. Never think you can never do that. Always keep a safe, uh, keep a safe bar within yourself to know I am capable of doing many things because we're in this flesh. Everything in this flesh. All the works of the flesh, it's already dormant within us. And depending on what we're exposed to in this situation will determine whether or not that part of us will come out, what you give heed to. So remember this as I close out this video. Some of you, you are on the brink of blessings and overflowing. Some of you, you're still in the wilderness and you're going to get there. But there's some of you, you're stepping right into it right now. Some of you are already tasting of it. You're getting that job. You're getting that position. You're getting all kinds of favor. And what God is saying, do not forget where you came from. There's some of you, you're already there and you've already tasted it. And God is saying, do not forget where you came from. Do not forget where I brought you from and do not allow the things and the wealth. And sometimes it's not even just physical wealth or material wealth. It is the wealth in the gifts of the spirit as he gives you more revelations, as he revelation, as he gives you more anointing to do his work. Do not get puffed up in it. Do not start to think, oh, this is me. Do not start to think, Oh, I, it, I am causing this to happen and begin to elevate yourself because you will be quickly abased and brought down and you will perish. We see this a lot today. If you may look at some of our leaders that are Christians, not all, you will see based on the fruits that they're producing by their fruits, you shall know them, right? So you see by the fruits that they're producing when they have sort of deviated and start to get into themselves. The Lord is saying these things that we do see and we look at, guys, listen, when you see the things that's happening, when you see people who are in whose names are in lights, leaders, when they fall and they crash and they're exposed, it's not for you or I to go, mm-hmm, yeah, I knew it, and to laugh and to talk about them. But number one, pray for them. Number two, see it as a lesson learned. It shows you what great wealth and position and lauding and lionizing, when people begin to laud and lionize you and gather around you, what it can cause you to do. You can get puffed up and you will be humbled. So today I will say to you, be prepared for all the things that God is going to bring to you. Those of you that's already walking in it, be, be humble, remain humble. Do not think it is by your own wealth and by your own means and the works of your hands that these things are happening because it is God that gives you power to gain wealth. Keep him at the forefront of your mind always. Again, this was Deuteronomy chapter 8. I encourage you to go ahead and read that on your free time. All right, guys, don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Peace out.